Hi there, today I'm going to share with you how I got this really easy, simple, fresh makeup look. So stick around, subscribe. All right, my name is Sandy Esprit. Don't forget to subscribe, click that like button and that notification bell so that you do not miss another video. I'm starting off with the e.l.f. Hydrating Primer. It's a serum primer. I absolutely love it because it has all these hydrating properties. And on days when it is like dry or I'm inside the house, I just really want to reinforce my skin with some hydration. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that into my skin. Um, I am gonna go and do the underpainting. I'm using the LYS Bronzing stick it is my favorite I actually don't have much inside of it but I'm gonna go ahead and use that bronzing stick as a bronzer and as to kind of just also kind of contour my face as well adding some shading around my nose on the cheekbones on the highest points of my eyelid the uh, jawbone like right underneath my jaw there as well as the high point uh, of my temple area this is in a brush that I actually got online really really good it's a double-ended brush it has this uh, angled brush and I love to use it to just blend out this bronzer and it honestly melts into my skin blends like butter and I'm able to do this in like one simple step I'm gonna put all the links of all the products that I use in the captions below but you can see how I am just effortlessly and easily blending everything out blending is the name of the game honestly and of course nothing will replace a, a good skincare routine because when your skin is good makeup just works it, it all of a sudden all these products that everybody's been hyping up all of a sudden you realize why they were worth the hype it's not necessarily the product themselves but a good skincare routine makes your skin easy to deal with so um, next is the concealer it's the quote beauty I got this at shoppers it was $14 I'm using the shade W6 I really like how small the wand is and I'm using it on the inner corners the outer corners of underneath my eye as well as on the bridge of my nose and the top of my forehead now the other side of this double-ended brush is this really tapered uh, small end there and I'm using it to lightly blend everything in I'm trying my best to not be as rough on my skin these these days and just to use a light hand when blending out the products so again just tapping in and lightly just dusting off the excess around the outer perimeters so you can see I'm really just tapering in pressing it into my skin and just blending it out lightly along the outer skirts just to blend it into my skin now if you're gonna hear some background noises these are my kids don't mind them they just love being around me all the time <laughs> so the halo smashbox halo healthy glow all-in-one tinted moisturizer spf 25 is my go-to for the summer fresh look i love how easy it is i can just squeeze into my skin it is a very lightweight finish and I'm gonna use a powder brush to just blend that in into my skin starting with a light press and then blend 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 again never want to forsake the blending method and I am not super clean or chic with my method I am all around messy as you can see here there is no finesse to my blending method I just want the product to get on my skin so that it can do what it's supposed to do and I love the finish you can see the glow this is skin but better skin but enhanced skin but hydrated and yeah I got a little bit of a glazed donut but I promise you my skin is not oily you will not see any breakouts this is literally all glow now this is some leftover Laura Mercier translucent powder that I had some loose powder that I had I decided to go ahead and finish that off because I've had it for so long the triangular puff is a must-have listen it went viral for a reason nothing sets like it I will swear by the triangular puff until I die or until something else comes along <laughs> that's uh, worth all this hype but I love the way it sets I love that small angle triangular puff thing there I, I absolutely love it so again links down in the captions below next I'm gonna go ahead with my eyebrows this is the Quo Beauty eyebrow pencil it's not necessarily my favorite but it does get the job done now you can see here I'm struggling to put on some <laughs> some pigment where the brows are supposed to be drawn on and then I clearly did not twist the product up so I'm gonna do it again and now we're getting somewhere so I love to just keep on with the natural arch 
of my eyebrows and really just add on extra to the front and to build up the over plucked areas of the back end so that's what you are seeing here and I kind of just went a little overboard I didn't really like follow my natural arch as well as I would have liked especially since the back end is really really thin I find that I'm getting a little bit more trouble with the back end but that's something I can clean up later on um, listen eyebrows are sisters not twins and my eyebrows are no exception uh, I am not a master at drawing on eyebrows I am not gonna say here in front and act like I do but for me the key is really to just follow the natural art arch of the eyebrows of my eyebrows I, I have I think some pretty nice eyebrows I just want to accentuate them and add a little more pigment where I over plucked you know mistakes were made and they can be corrected now I do use the brush end of the eyebrow pencil to just lay everything down kind of really reinforce the shape and enhance the shape and I'm gonna use that leftover concealer I had on the uh, thing to to just clean it up now this is a Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light one this is a blush enhancer now I know it's gotten a whole lot of hate personally I love it and on days like when I just really want to keep my face fresh I apply it on the cheekbones and the high points of the cheekbone really kind of just to give that fresh youthful look and I will actually use it as a blush um, for me I really like it this is shade pink gasm this is from the glow gasm thing and I, I for I've heard people say that it comes off ashy I don't find that it does I'm gonna go ahead and do my first set of sprays my only set of sprays with a Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless filter um, setting spray and then I'm gonna use the LYS speak love lip oil treatment this is fancy and then my mascara is a Charlotte Tilbury mascara this is their pillow talk push up lash mascara and I find that with this one I really didn't like it at first I, I was not a big fan over time I've noticed that I really like the mascara I love the volume it gives um, I find that I there is a technique so I squiggle from bottom to top and really focus on the ends now don't forget to click like subscribe and comment down below and I will see you in the next video